I thought you wanted gold. I changed my mind! Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm at Tim's, I brought my Fiat. It's time to buy some silver. And guys, let me just say, when you're walking around with this much cash, or if you're carrying your gold and silver with you, you should protect yourself, just saying. Hey Tim, Yeah. let's see what silver you have for me today. Ooh. Ooh, I don't have any. Is that five ounces? They are. They're all five ounces. Can I see that dragon one? Sure. Look at that. Wow. Man, I might have to get that. That that's that that's a a, a silver ice cream cone for me. I don't usually go five ounces. I don't have one. Yeah, that's the best thing nice. is the price. It's only a thousand dollars. They're, they're inexpensive. Okay, that's cool. Interesting that they're inexpensive, he says. You get around, it's a, a Philharmonic, Canadian Maple Leaf. That looks like a... It's Prospector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prospector, short-lived yeah. Prospector. They found out they couldn't compete with the Anglehart Prospector, so they gave it up. Just uh, make great bars. Uh, yep, I see the bars. Working my way down. I'm skipping gold, Tim. You know what I finished off the Maple Musket, thanks to you. I'm gonna hold off on the gold for now. I gotta focus on silver. Uh, we'll keep that aside. What is that doing there? All right. Ooh, is that a funnel spider? It is. Ooh, I gotta see that one. That, that's cool. That'll freak Mrs. Yankee out. <laughs> it's almost Halloween. Good point, good point. Um, what about these other rounds you've got floating around there? I need to take a good close look at those. Well, the... Um they're NRA rounds. These are, um, yeah, they're made by one of the NRA partners, mm -hmm. oh, wow. Mallard Duck and uh, the American Patriot. Wow. Is that Donald Duck? Oh, I did. I think I put that aside for you. You did? I totally forgot about it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Scrooge McDuck. Is that Scrooge I, is there I, is there a secret message we have going on here? Do you yes, consider uh, yeah. <laughs> is Yankee and Scrooge and McDuck? Before we get to the Silver Eagles, I think I might need a tube or two of those. Do you have Benjis? Got lots you, of them. You do? Yeah. You got a big old bag of them? I do. So your 603 stacker? Yes. Just joined. I, I won't show his face or his That's your son. Yes. That's he's he's adorable. And you came in here because you've seen yeah, I've heard channel. you talk about this store on the channel, so I figured I'd swing in. Yes. <laughs> it's good. Yes, Tim. I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear that. that I don't that know is... how many stickers you left me, but I've got about three left. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Oh, we got some Kennedys in there, too. I'm thinking... Do you want to mix them? Yeah, no. I, I, I can pick through them and, and let you handle him, mm -hmm. maybe. But before... Do you mind me leaving that? That's fine. Okay. Um, American Silver Eagles. Okay. 2003, He's putting some nicer ones over there, right? The dates? Yeah, better dates. The 92s are all right. They're, okay. They're not expensive. What's your take on the new reverse, Tim? Um, I still like the old one. <laughs> me too, man. The Gold Eagle... Looks like it has some interesting detail for the reverse, the big eagle face, but the silver eagle reverse that they're gonna come out with looks like cartoonish to me. I don't know. I kinda got, had the same impression. Uh, I, I thought they might put the St. Gobbs reverse from the $20 gold piece. Oh, on the other, but that would have been a that good That would have been my choice. Yep. They may have uh, copyright issues or something, but oh. uh, that's what I would have done. That would have been classic, huh? What a fun trip. Tim is the best. So, why have I returned to silver? Well, if you remember, I infamously took a short-term hiatus earlier this year to work on my gold maple musket. Right here. Yep. 20 quarter-ounce Canadian maple leaf coins right there. Look at the 
<laughs> you can see the American flag in the reflection, in the one on my wall. That's cool. And this uh, uh, tube of maples is going to join my Yankee Cannon, which is a tube of 20 one ounce American Gold Eagles. So maple musket done. I also wanted to wait a little bit for a price pullback in September that I had predicted earlier this year. So now I'm back with silver. And here's why. In my recent video last week, I discussed where I believe silver and gold are going after the U.S. presidential election. While the long-term direction of precious metals, this stuff, is almost a no-brainer, regardless of the three election scenarios I laid out, the short-term reaction of silver prices and silver's availability varies. Again, in the short term, what happens, I think, really is marketably different. And, and I have made my guess as to uh, who I think will win and the reaction that is likely. And, and that has prompted me to take advantage now of silver's undervalued and nowhere near record valuation. I think we're going to bust through $30 an ounce by the end of this year. And it was time, <laughs> now that this uh, gold accumulation is done, to, you know, put my money where my mouth is. I got these beautiful pieces here. Look at this. Uh, this is a five ounce Year of the Dragon silver coin and let me tell you this ain't oh there's that flag again isn't that cool <laughs> this ain't your uh, uh normal yankee pickup this was a complete silver ice cream cone total splurge <laughs> look at that that is just gorgeous detail and hefty what a piece of silver that is uh i'm not part of the nra but woo. That is pretty cool. Wow, I do exercise my Second Amendment rights. And, oh man, I have never gone hunting for deer. That is something I would absolutely love to do. But I haven't had a chance to. And, you know, maybe somebody in the community who uh, who really uh, sees that piece uh, as special might be interested in it. This is obviously a prospect around. Yep, that's pretty cool. I picked these up for a great price. In fact, this right here, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> I got this for a great price. And, and let that be a lesson to you. When things come out uh, from the mint and you just have to have it, if you wait a little while, sometimes those novelty silver items end up becoming um, almost just you know, generic bullion to some dealers, and you might be able to get them at really dirt cheap prices. Right now, there, there, is, there is still a premium on this, and there was a huge one when it first came out. And the other thing is, I had a ASC tube, literally had one American Silver Eagle in there, 2015. And I told Tim, I don't like, you know, orphaned ASC, so I needed to fill this <laughs> So I did. I got a bunch of uh, backdated uh, eagles. Uh, great price from Tim. Again, I don't care about the the condition so much. I don't care if you know there's a special date or anything like that. It just, yeah, you can see they're circulated. They've they've got toning on it. Who cares? I got another tube. I'm not gonna start another monster box though. That uh, not I'm not going that direction. So what direction am I going? Well, other than these beautiful pieces that I'm excited about, I'll put these over here. I decided that I needed to work on my half dollar guardhouse box. Oh, the talking bullion gave me uh, quite a while ago, actually before metals jumped up and before COVID-19, look at these Benjis and and uh, Kennedy, 90%. Wow. Yeah, I needed more. I got five tubes that I picked through myself very carefully, one at a time, looking for anything that was a little too slick and, and avoiding them. 
and I have the tubes that uh, Talking Bullion gave me. So I'm going to be putting them in the tubes, putting them in the guardhouse box. If you don't know what a guardhouse box is, definitely check out the links in the description of this video. There's a lot of good links in there. Uh, you'll see one of them for a guardhouse box. And I am focused <laughs> on silver. That's right. And I've discussed this shift from you know gold to silver with uh, several of my uh, Yankee Cannon members. In fact, I counseled one of my members on what I thought was the right split between gold and silver for him. Uh, this person has uh, a sizable outlay that he and his wife uh, wish to make, and he was trying to determine the best allocation. You know, should I go all in on silver now, Yankee? Or, you know, so we discussed the particulars in his uh, situation, I gave him my best uh, opinion on what I think uh, I would do in his circumstance. And in general, you know, at a certain level of investment, I believe it makes sense to actually form a foundation with gold, okay? And then add your silver on top of that gold foundation. At other investment or insurance, if you will, levels, um, I think it makes more sense to, pro uh, to, to focus primarily on silver and then add gold as you can later on. Just like this uh, 10th ounce gold piece right here. It varies depending on your particular situation. Again, I'm no professional financial advisor, but as a financial coach, I, I really try to help my members make sense of you know their overall investment portfolio. Um, you know, fine tune their objectives, review their stacking approach. I, I really enjoy doing that for people. Now I'm re-energized to focus again more and more on silver. Why? I think the window of opportunity is closing, my friends. If who I believe is in the White House come January and what I think could happen in Congress actually happens, well, I'm getting as much inflation insurance as I can right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, fun little video of mine. Definitely subscribe and you know hit the like, please, if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Whoa. Whoa. Stop. <laughs>